Oh my gosh, I feel so lucky, you guys. I can't wait for you to meet my new guest. Erica, please introduce yourself. Um, you're just such an awesome person. Please introduce yourself to the audience. Oh, thank you so much. I am Erica Gregory. I own uh, Erica Gregory, the business, I guess. It was started out as Scout Creative Agency and has transformed into branding my own name somehow. <laughs> <laughs> and I teach people how to build businesses online uh, using social media. So that's what I do. And I come from the corporate world. I was a nine to fiver and, you know, I dealt with all the wardrobe issues of the time and I was pregnant. So there was, oh, the, wow. you know, on top of that, I was pregnant in the, in the corporate world. So there's like a whole other element of wardrobe there. And then I breastfed too. So not getting too intimate, but then you have to have access, right? <laughs> you're pumping. I mean, that was a real dilemma. So, um, so yeah, I have a lot to say about myself and other people um and just you know the different types of wardrobes we see it's kind right. of an interesting topic to get into yeah well thank you thank you so much for yeah. agreeing to participate and i love that you have the corporate background and for those of you we'll share erica's contact information at the end but she is a superstar dynamo in helping people build their social media profiles i follow you on insta we'll make sure again that we highlight you at the end and i'll put it in the show notes but um, let's, let's unpack that corporate life a little bit and what you, um, saw and experienced there. And last time we talked, you said you had a story about one time when you had to talk to somebody about like a conversation about what they were wearing. And I find it fascinating because these are really tough conversations to have, like really, really tough. So I'd love to hear everyone's approach and how it went. Do you mind unpacking yeah, that? Of yeah. course. No, not a problem. Um, I, I, well, you know, I, I come from a fairly conservative family. My, my dad and my mom always taught me to dress a certain way. Um, and I took that very seriously when I became a professional in a workplace, like I wanted to be taken seriously. Um, and I thought that, you know, my wardrobe definitely helped with that. Um, there were, there were several instances. Um, the one that stands out in my head though, is, you know, a girlfriend of mine who's still a great friend. Um, she's about maybe five, six years younger than me. And she, this was her first job right out, out of college. And, um, you know, I'm, I'm smaller chested, so I don't have to worry about the cleavage, but she definitely did. She definitely had the, had cleavage and, and was not afraid to show it off. Mm. And she would wear low tops and things like that. And, you know, whatever, it's not my job to say that's inappropriate. If she felt comfortable and confident by all means, however, it did become a, a an issue when there were problems. Like there were just, sure. um, there were, you know, she was felt like she wasn't being taken seriously. She wasn't, um, getting responsibility that she asked for. She felt like she wasn't getting, uh, she was getting passed over for certain work and things like that. And, you know, I don't think that had to solely do with what she was wearing, but I don't think what she was wearing was helping either. And wow. I, and I sort of just kind of laid it out like that. Like, you know, maybe we need to, you know, have higher tops. And, right. and we had a rapport where I felt very, calm. she was like a little sister to me mm. where I could say, you know, your boobs are out. Right. Right. <laughs> and you are, you are significantly younger than the rest of the people in this office. And that sends a message. Um, and you know, it's hard to have those conversations, but I think she understood that I was coming from a place of like, you know, I don't care. I don't care. But if you are having these issues, this is something that you can actively change. Um, and I think as time went on and she grew up a little bit, like, and she realized the atmosphere we were in, it did, she did change her wardrobe and, um, it, it's always uncomfortable. Like it's sure just, it is. It's somebody's like, it's somebody's way of expressing themselves, but 
and I, I, I think some people would argue this because we're in, you know, this very progressive world and everything. I do think there's something to be said about wearing a certain wardrobe while you're at the office, because that is where you are supposed to be a professional version of yourself. Right. And I think that's starts and ends with what you, what you look like. Like, I mean, it starts with the interviewing process too. I mean, how many times have we gone on interviews and we've stressed about what we're going to wear because we know that's our first impression. That's what people see. So it would be, it would be silly to not think that that doesn't carry through your career as well. That's right. Interview. So that was one instance. And I mean, I think, I think what was different was the relationship we had already built, but um, yeah, I mean, I think, I think she wasn't thinking about it. Like, Oh, I'm dressing inappropriately. I think she was thinking about it. Like I'm not being taken seriously. And so I gave her kind of like, Oh, here's a, here's a way you could maybe be taken a little bit more seriously. Right. Kind of have to play the game. Right. And it, it's silly, but it's true. It, it really is true. Yeah. I mean, you bring up so many good points. Thank you for saying that as I'm listening to you, it's exactly the story that I tell in one of my courses. My whole course series is called Dressed Smart. And it's about a story of a young lady, much like the one that you just told, who wasn't taken seriously because she dressed, I don't want to say promiscuously, but you know, low cut, high skirt or whatever. And they didn't take her seriously. And then I saw this transformation that overnight she went from dressing like that to like a professional. And I come from an accounting background and we are super, super conservative, right? Super conservative in that background. And I never knew how it happened until years later, I asked her, she said, oh, the senior manager told me I dressed too cute and that no one knew how smart she was. I mean, she Mm. passed the CPA exam in like two tries. So I don't know if you know anything about that process, but that's really hard to do. Like you're super smart. Like she's, So, but no one knew how smart she was, which is why I've created that series, but um, it's happened and is happening, which is, I mean, your story is a perfect example. And by the way, everyone listening, we did not talk about this before. She did it right on this topic. And it is about being taken seriously. And there is a certain way we need to present ourselves in confidence. That's right. We don't want to take away their individuality. However, when you have the low cut, that's where the eyes go, male or female. It's a yeah. distraction. Mm-hmm. And that's another thing that I hit on in my course series. Like you don't want to be a distraction. You want the direct eye contact because yeah. that's how we establish trust, right? Oh yeah. I love that. I think that's so important too. The direct eye can- contact. You don't want, you don't want to be a distraction. You don't, don't make yourself, don't make yourself the center of attention because that's, that can be good, but it can also be bad. <laughs> right. I mean, and it carries through to the entire work thing. It's not just the office, but also office parties, right? Mm. There are so many things like, yes, they offer um, alcohol, but like it, you're probably better off just not treating it like a family party. It's a work, it's still a work function. They feed you well or whatever. So we'll see this again, obviously um, the past 12 to 18 months, you know, we weren't able to get out and socialize, but this stuff is going to start to come back, which is exactly why I've created this podcast to talk about these scenarios where we can think about how to best present ourselves for promotions. And I mean, you said it yourself, like I said, we did not talk about this, but you said it yourself, like things were being held back from her because of the way she presented herself. And because, you know, I'm sure she was qualified, but they were being misled by how she was dressed. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Wow. And it was frustrating her too. And it's just like, it's a simple change. So let's do it. And it, and it really, it really it, t- it turns things around for her for, for, for sure. Um, so yeah, it's, it's so important, but it's often something that I think women in general fight against because it's like, can be so personal. Right. right. Um, but it's, you know, it's just a different, it isn't the bar. It, you're not going out to dinner with your, you know, your friends, you're not, it's not a family thing. It is your job 
And in order to be taken seriously, you should make it so over the top boring. Right. So that the only thing that stands out is you and your, your personality and your smarts and your head and your brain and your, the way that you can, um, add value to the team. That should be the only thing that you should want to be known for. Not, Mm -hmm. Oh, the girl that wears the low cut shirts or whatever. So, yeah. Yes. Very well said. So, um, yeah, I mean, that was so fantastic. So we talk about clothes and one of the questions that I love to ask all of my guests is what is your favorite piece of clothing or accessory of all time? And how does it make you feel? Ooh, that's good. That's good. Um, I have this dress and it's a fairly new piece in my wardrobe. Yay. But um, I feel like since I've become a mother, I've like had to really um, prioritize comfort. I mean, everybody does, but prioritizing comfort and like ability to move when you're like at a playground or wherever sure. with kids. So I just have this dress. It's um, like a midi length. It's very like loose fitting. It kind of has like an A-line um, or what do they umpire. call it? Empire, umpire empire. waist. Yeah. Umpire. yeah. And it has these like fluttery sleeves and it's a blue and white pinstripe. And it just makes me feel so put together, but comfortable. Love and it. like I can bend over and not worry about anything hanging out. <laughs> right. And I just feel like I fit really well in it. And it was like, it's like a Target fine, I think. Target or Old Navy. I mean, it wasn't anything over the top expensive. It's just like that midi length dress oh, that I, I could literally just lay around in it too. You know, it's just pajamas, but up a level. <laughs> I love I love that you picked that. I love the price point that you picked that. Like, because that tells us we can find something anywhere. Right. Yeah. So, oh my God, that was, and just to hear you explain it, like, oh, it feels so great. Right. Mm-hmm. And that's how we should feel when we get dressed. Right. There's yeah. a lot of, it's really tough right now to find stuff in the stores, but here's the answer. Look wherever you go and yeah. look for that comfort and you'll win. So yeah. this was great. This was great. Yeah. Erica talk, um, give us the information where we can find you again, everybody. She is fantastic at what she does. I have taken one of her classes and can speak very highly, uh, about how helpful and generous she is, but tell us where we can find you. Well, thank you so much. Um, you can find me at ericagregory.com is my website. And my Instagram is at Erica J Gregory. Um, and I'd love for you to follow along. Yes. And she has great Instagram. I do see all of your reels and your posts and I learn from them every day. They're so great. You do a really, really nice job in, um, helping me with social media. So everyone should follow her. If you have, if you have your own business and even if you don't, you'll, you'll see her posts are pretty awesome. So thank you. Yes. Well, you're welcome. Well, congratulations on this business. Erica has been a role model for a lot of us in this coaching program. Um, but thank you. I was honored, um, that you were able to spend some time with us today, Erica. I just wish you the best. And I thank you so much. Thank you. I'm happy to help. And thank you for having me. I love talking about stuff like this. Oh, thank (laughs) you. We'll have an awesome day. You too.